rated M for Mommy said a bad word. Hello, it's National Freak. Welcome back to part two of Doki Doki Liter Literature Club. We just got through talking to Yuri here mm -hmm. about um, a very smelly book. Yep. Yep. Watch part one. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's worth it. Um, uh, do you remember her voice? It's like a valley. Oh, you yeah. I, I did it. And it was just like, it was like a higher, more female version of my voice. And I did, um, for Monica, I did a, an awful British accent, which I'm going to bring back. Okay. Um, so right. we got this. Yeah. Well, let's, let's just get back into it. I'm excited to see what happens next. <clears throat> it's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face. She's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? I said Canadianly. Eh? To turn the page. Uh, I don't want to touch that page that you've just been working on. It's so a little stinky. How about <laughs> you turn the page? I'm, yeah, you turn the page. <laughs> you turn it. Uh, I think I got a bit distracted for a second. The fumes started but, making me uh, confused. Was, yeah, I was, I was, I had to vomit for a minute. Sorry. Glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll Hi be there. able to keep I'm up. I'm the with right her. eye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. She's just reading so fast. She's so fast. Ah. <laughs> That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? You calling me stupid? Well, no, but I'm not used to reading like this. <laughs> I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. That, that, that. It's probably the least I can do, <laughs> you know, for such an idiot. The least you could do is wash since, your hands. <laughs> since you've been so patient with me, you don't even know the half of it. <laughs> Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page, but I'm taking a really long time. I have no idea what's going on. I haven't been reading. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> I can't read. I can't read at all. We continue the first chapter, in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange, as if <laughs> I'm touching, <laughs> I'm touching. <laughs> as if I'm touching a part of her that was once inside. Uh, it feels like I'm touching inside you. <laughs> my thumb <laughs> gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. And it sticks like it's, a... It's like a... <laughs> uh, Hey, Yuri. <laughs> Please this don't. Is, this might be a silly thought, but uh, the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. <laughs> what? You think so? Yeah, because they does, also don't wash how, their hands. <laughs> how, how does she? Well, I, I mean, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. Smokes a lot of them. Pass uh, it, 420. Blaze but she, it, blaze it. She also second guesses all the things that she says and does, uh, like you do. Although you're very confident in one particular area. Rimming it's, your teacup. Rimming your teacup. It's not It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I I see. You know the f main character's a dude, right? Uh, you re <laughs> You remain silent for a moment. But, my dude, that's probably really offensive... A terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Oh, 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 wait. I didn't mean that in a bad way or anything. I'm sorry. I didn't really know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Uh, that, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I more meant it's kind of cute. Ah. What are you saying all of a sudden? Oh my god, I zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> I... <gasps> okay. okay, everyone. That, that, that exclamation point. I think it's time we, we share today's poems with each other. We, Ooh, might not, we might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. I don't have to think anymore, thank God. Yeah. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. It's, I mean, it's not... It, I, it's, it's fine. I've just been looking backward. I just need to... Wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Releases her hand from yeah. the book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like Velcro. Uh, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Now um, my um, thumb ow. is covered in shit. <laughs> do you see what you've done? I'm going to get hepatitis, Yuri. How do you not notice? Honestly. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight then. <laughs> or would you prefer if I only read it with you? 
I prefer my books nice and um, stinky. <laughs> this is the best way to read. Half the words are covered up so I can skip them. <laughs> um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight without you. I've heard of censoring being crap, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got I feel like I'm I'm worried that we're going to be laughing a lot more than anybody watching this, but that's <laughs> I feel like I've heard censoring was a load of crap. But <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, real quick. Can you hand me one of those mints over there? My mouth is dry. Got to keep my 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 pecker moist. <laughs> yeah. You got to keep your pecker moist. Is that <laughs> is that what you meant to say? No, that's, okay, that's not, what it, that's not what it means. Yeah, you peck with your mouth, right? No, that's not what it means. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Do you put mints in your butthole? No, it's not. No, a pecker's... Oh, right. My penis. Yeah. Gotta keep my pecker moist. Uh, it'll be more fun to read it... Gotta uh, get my dick wet. <laughs> uh, it'll be more fun to read it with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two, first two chapters on your own time. All right, as long as my pecker's moist. <laughs> I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. I won't forget. <laughs> yep. By the way, uh, do you did, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. Can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Put on your 3D glasses now. I couldn't really find my inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well... Now that everyone's ready, uh, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Finally get a voice. Sayori, <laughs> did you think I was just going to pick you just because you popped up out of thin air like that? Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems, just shing, like a sword out of a sheet. They're very excited. Sayori's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers on gold leaf. No, Compass is a notebook. Uh, I can I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Ooh. Oh, who should who, I show my poem to first? Who did we choose as a poem per like who did we send her in? We didn't pick in? a poem person, but a poem person. Poem um, person, but uh, who do you want to share first with? I mean, my character seems to be most interested in Monica, so let's just I say I say you shoot for the moon, you know, you All go right. big or you go freaking home. Let's go. Cool. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I wanted to know I'm putting in effort. I put in effort, but I also put out. You know what I'm saying? Monica? Hi my dude. Having a good time so far? Far? <laughs> <laughs> the exclamation, the question mark. <laughs> that was that was actually uh, the, the the question mark made it look like a T, so I just kind of Having ran a good with it. Time so far? So so I mean so you guys that that proves that I don't actually read these things before I say something. I just kind of just say it as I read it. Having a good time so far? Having a good time so far? Uh yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Can we put a toilet in here? Right. For Yuri? <laughs> for Yuri. The girl's got a real problem. It's a scat fest out here. <laughs> it's a scat fest. She's uh, the scat man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? I just did. Nobody's listening to me, though, but I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. <laughs> A I'm crippling anxiety. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> there goes there goes your skirt again. I don't understand. Blowing up. Just blowing on up. Blow up your skirt. Don't worry, my dude. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier where we'll all learn to get past soon. Soon, that will... Yeah. Hold on, to get past farts. Past soon, fart. <laughs> yes, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. She says judgingly. Great job, my dude. She says wrongly. Wrongly? Wrong. I was going, ew, in my head while reading it. Like, ew. Ew. It's really quite metaphorical. 
For what? I'm not sure why. Didn't we say suicide? I didn't expect. I didn't. I. I it was just. It was just word salad. <laughs> I didn't yummy, expect yummy. you <laughs> to go for something so deep. <laughs> yummy, yummy. I guess I underestimated you. Well, it's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Wow. Finger guns. Etcha. That way, I had always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Oh, oh no. We made it for Yuri. Oh no. <laughs> Leaned more to Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Like happy and sad. <laughs> Correct. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point, and you do not, you ignorant buffoon. <laughs> I never really asked though. I don't particularly care about Yuri. I'm nowhere near her level anyway. Oh wait, that was me. That was shoot. Whatever. <laughs> don't don't worry so much I've about that. I've become British. <laughs> What's happening to me? What have you done? I'm being simulated. <laughs> what was in those cupcakes, Monica? Uh, don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. It's garbage, but it's yours. You do your own thing for now until you become part of my soul. Exactly. I will just keep you. exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Sure. Finger guns. Thanks, mom. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. You want to write them for me? I'll pay you money. Yeah. How does five dollars <laughs> sound? Uh, that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. I'd love for you to try out this five dollar <laughs> bill. <laughs> Everyone else might be a, a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. What are you trying to do? I think you can use the space bar and do it too. But go ahead. Okay. Uh, so don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or, or anything. <laughs> In my head, I said that's exactly what I'm worried about. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Wow, oh, now I don't want to read it, Monica. You told I'm, I'm not going to read a bad poem. Why would you just preface it being, like telling me it's bad? Go in with confidence. If, yeah. you're, if you were auditioning for a part, you would be taken out of the running. I would, I would, see, you would see the door, and you would walk through. It. <laughs> you would see it, <laughs> and just get get on through you it because just, it's there. You see it. I would just tell you, like, look at the door. Just, just look at it. That's a nice store, mahogany. And don't, don't look at me. Would you look at it? Would you just look at it? And we would just spend the rest of the day that way. Now, where is the door so from? I would like that door. I want you to get that. Take the door off the hinges and bring it to my house. Anyway, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound. I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way. You know, I can make you feel real confident Ooh, with my wet pecker. Yeah. Well, let's see it then. It's like a limp noodle. Hole in wall. Off to a great start. It, a pecka slept through. It slipped through. <laughs> I gave it a kiss. Oh my! And it gave me some white jelly. Oh oh, it's getting a little too warm in here. It's rather bitter in taste. It it couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I'm blind. Oh no, I reel blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. <laughs> I already scorched with permanent copy of the meaningless image. The pecker. In a little <laughs> hole. It blinded me. Poked me directly in the retinas. Uh, it was that It was small. just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever. And that's what matters, really. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now, I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he... 
<laughs> I, I'm just gonna read it. It goes without saying. On the other side, I was looking in. He's over there, like, you gonna suck it or what? <laughs> I already paid. Uh, so, what do you think? Hmm. It's very, uh. It's crap. It's, it's I mean, honestly, I saw what Yuri's paper looked like, and this was more crap. <laughs> <laughs> What's on this was even more crap than the literal crap I saw on Yuri's paper. At least on hers I can see that she's having a healthy diet. At least, at least she gave me something of substance, Monica. Like corn. This was diarrhea. Uh, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays, not that you would know. That is, a, a lot of poems have been putting an emphasis on the thing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the uh, inspiration behind this one? Well, you see, <laughs> I was at my local gas station, my local petrol station, sorry. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how to, <laughs> to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. A little epiphany. A little epiphany. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yes, something like that. You said, I'll never tell. Something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Coming on strongly? Indeed. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. We can have our own poem session. <laughs> poem session. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. I can't stop thinking about if it! If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. 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 However that Progress, I think. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it, it is this. Procrastination. If you keep your penis, pen, penis. <laughs> in, some, in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. It's true. But if you lightly stroke it, you'll get a nice white puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. Take uh, your pen and go to the island. Right. Go to Pen Island. Pen Island. Or join the Pen 15 Club. Right. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. And wipe. She's gone. Who no. should I show my poem to next? Oh, I show my poem to everyone. Uh, I'll I'll save Yuri for last. Okay, we'll see, go, we'll see. Um, let's go Sayori. Yeah, give me a voice. I'll give you a voice. I want to talk. Actually, that's true. You haven't really said anything this yeah, whole time. You, all I've been, of them have been, I've been carrying characters. this episode. Guys, I'm going to take a step back. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is a good poem, my dude. Are you sure this is your first time with your wet pecker? Of course. It's not that good. I know. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? No. I spend my time working out and making love. That's not that's not my character. I don't know. I a spend little bit my of, time I watching put a little bit, anime and masturbating. Right. I put a little too much of myself in my character, you know, just now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why I'm... It, 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 but that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. Wow. I'm just really happy you wrote one. <laughs> Sorry. How I, much have you had to drink, Sayori? I just had, a, a, just, I had four quesadillas from Taco really Bell. happy you wrote one. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. I've been here two days. I just get came... low, get low, put your ass to the flow club. Yep. <laughs> Not, That's you. not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Okay. Uh, oh, that's you. Well, but, of course. Of course. I'm not really into it yet, but I mean, that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. You know. See? It's like I said before, my dude. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? You shut your whore mouth. Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only real good people do. Hey, you don't even know me. I know you. But thanks. I Sayori. You. Okay. I have pictures. 
Not sure if Sauri sees the full picture of my motive here. Pictures? Then again, can't deny she's part of the reason I joined, so. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, I hear your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, how did she know? I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? All right, pump the brakes, Sayori. You're coming off a little thirsty. You're gonna have fun. <laughs> That'll be my way of thanking you. Hmm. Let's talk after I uh, strike out with Monica and Yuri first, okay? <laughs> Let's give it a shot with them. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Nope. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Don't don't give me that. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see about that. I don't. I don't have any interest in reading your poem. Don't. Oh, dang it. Okay, okay, I guess I have to wait. Yeah. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Good lord. <laughs> Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you test te trusting me? What? I can't read it. Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. Hmm. <laughs> It's a secret, but I trust you too. Okay, are you are you ten years old, honestly? If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> dum dum. Sayori, what in the hell did you just give me? Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. What is this crap that you've put in front of me? Sorry, I put it on top of Yuri's. <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. Because she was spying on me? No, I was just eating some bacon. I don't know why you're eating, okay. eating bacon, but... <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. Don't be stupid. I still tried my best. No, you didn't. I mean, well, maybe you did. You're just that dumb. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem, but it's exactly what I meant to say. I mean, it came out nice or, um, how should I put it? Um, it sounds just like you. Really? Oh, you betcha. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. You know who says that, Sayori? Fatties. <gasps> I'm fatty. Yep. I didn't... Okay, we're going. That's all right. Well, I, 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 well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. That was... Hey, 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 hey. This was so much fun. Fun, fun, fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. So I'm going for. <laughs> Next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. All right, just don't make me read it. But I look forward to it. Do you? I want those 10 minutes back. That right. was awful. Give me that Suki. <clears throat> Give me okay. that Suki. Or do you want a break? I can do Yuri and do the voice and then you can. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of wrote it for her in a way. We did. That, that, that. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Wait, did they actually just like turn a different shade of purple? Maybe. I didn't notice. They just they just turned completely white all the way across. <laughs> she starts speaking in Latin. I don't understand what's happening. The room is spinning. She's a speaking void in is tongues. opening beneath me. There's a knife in my chest. <laughs> right. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? That, that, that? Did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Yuri, don't do that. <laughs> There's a handprint. Yuri, there. you're gonna, you're gonna like. Honestly, I don't know how you don't have like TB or something already. I, uh, he's gonna hate me. Uh, I'm standing right here. I do hate you. <laughs> you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Honestly, except for, I mean, you gotta go wash your face. Honestly, eh? That's. I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. <laughs> she breathes in a few particles. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Literally picked it off of a page of words. Uh, really? I've just written a lot of, uh, 
uh, fan fiction for Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> right. I've got I've got a whole page on DeviantArt all about Sonic the Hedgehog. I have my own OC. I don't know. What original character. Oh, original character. Thank you. His name is uh, Ted the Hedgehog. Ted the Hedgehog. He gets Sonic pregnant. It's really, you know, it's pretty meta. And he's a hermaphrodite, so he can, yeah. like, be either. So, you it's know. It's like, yeah, whatever. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's well, very woke. That's a huge, huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time. Really. Huh? He stares at me blankly. Looks at my poem again. That, that, that. Well, I, I know that. I just meant, um... Uh, your trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger <laughs> all the words in the poem, underlining each one, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. I can't read the poem. <laughs> I, was, now. I was gonna make a breaking it down joke. Um, it's, we're going too far with that one. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that their specific writing habits are usually typical of new writers and. I haven't met through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them. I, I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in the new writers is that they, they try to make their style uh, very deliberate. In, in other words, they, they tend to try oh and pick writing God, separate Yuri. from the topic matter and they did the form fit two, two together and the end result is they both style and the express notes are our weekend. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if demeanor totally changes. She doesn't stop talking. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. You're just dumb. There's so many, so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Stupid. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Uh, so I hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Why does everyone keep telling me to do new things? Right? Shut up. I know. Let me be me. <laughs> that Suki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, she put mind altering syrup in her cupcakes. Well, <laughs> well, never mind. Never mind. She didn't do that. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> this one? Yeah. I don't even. I don't even know what's going on. What I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read you a poem now? Please don't. Um, please, <laughs> please, please do. Don't. <laughs> I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. She's such a nerd, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? You know what? This is supposed to be a literature club. I mean, we're writing literature. But we haven't talked about crap literature-wise. We have talked well, about Well, we've crap. talked about a lot of crap, <laughs> but we haven't talked about anything literature-wise. Um, What's important is dating these kids girls and getting to know them better that's the important that's what literature club's all about literature stands for letting in the i can't i don't know how to spell literature <laughs> you, I, I, I thought really thought you were gonna go for it there um okay <clears throat> the tender the tendrils Ooh. oh it's called ghost under the oh, light right, ghost under the light sorry the tendrils oh the tendrils that's, that's like some of the fan fiction that my character writes. <laughs> uh, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the tests of time. The last... What does that say? Yes. yes. Last, I thought it said get. That made no sense. The last yet to be replaced by the Sicken. sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. I bathe finally. <laughs> calm, breathing in the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I flicker wow, back. so flick at the bird. Flick you. <laughs> right? That that that. Oh, it's so profound. I, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. Honestly, that was the hardest one to read. <laughs> It's pretty to the point where it's illegible. Right, it's because it's not written in ink. So it's pretty legible. And I said, what? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, I'm just kind of dumb if you haven't picked up on that yet. I can't read. Nobody nope. listens to me. Right. <laughs> I've been telling you since the day we met, I cannot read. I literally pulled words off the magnets on my fridge. And you guys all loved it. You guys are all fakers. Y'all are so mean to me. 
I actually think your handwriting is very pretty. Eh? She said Canadianly. That's a relief. So, uh, also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. And uh, you talk about you bathing a lot, which I appreciate. Which you should do right now. Right now. Seriously, you're a mess. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. <laughs> Just you wait. Buckle up, mister. Wait till it's gonna I get eat. real interesting. Wait till I eat spicy salsa. <laughs> Something easy to digest, <laughs> I suppose. Not for me, though. No, I'm not. Honestly, it, my stomach is a steel trap. Uh, are you into ghosts, Yuri? Like, sexually? <laughs> uh huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, my dude. Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. Oh, you really didn't get the message. Uh, really? Must have totally missed the point. Well, <laughs> I suppose you did only glance over it and you can't really read so but i remember that poets often express their own thoughts feelings and experiences in their work and uh, they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture in this case perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost lingering in her last remaining place of comfort unable to let go of the past and soon to be left with nothing that's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I thought it was just about ghosts. Flickering ghosts. I would have preferred a ghost story. Right? Haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. I do not care. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours is impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Yeah, whatever. Mm. Hmm. Hey. You know... I was really nervous about doing all this, uh, but in the end, I, I enjoyed it. Oh my god, Yuri, do you ever I'm, stop talking? Right. I'm, I'm so going to keep doing my best for her. you, my dude. Ah, me too. Oh, it's over. Oh, one more. Let's do it. Natsuki, what pumped, I'm pumped, do I'm you pumped. got? All right, I'm, I'm going to let you just take this. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. <laughs> well, it's what I about expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt sorry I, I smoked it all yeah i was gonna say i like, just got the roach <laughs> i was gonna say that's There's a little, little bit, that's a little blunt it's a little bit left there. if you want to hit it well excuse me that explains the voice it's not like i said it was bad it just didn't evoke any em emotions so basically no, that's me oh. so basically it's not cute enough for your tastes um do you want to get smacked? Yes, please. <laughs> no, I'll pass. Sigh. She really wanted to smack me. I want to smack you. Yes. Well, anyway, <laughs> I guess I need to show you my ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can smack it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. <laughs> Crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, <laughs> people can try, but that's about it. That was... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Told you that where you weren't gonna like it. Oh, you were so right. No, scratch this out. <laughs> Whoa, how did... How did my mouse get so big? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, um, it does that on Mac, so you can find it if you lose it. Oh, okay. But yeah, scratch that out. It was it was crap. This is the worst, this is the worst piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm angry. Uh, what? Just be honest. I cannot be any more honest. I would rather go blind than to know that this poem is in existence in someone's hands. Then you will be Burn blind. It. <laughs> Burn it. Give me your eyes. Well, because everyone in high school thinks writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. <laughs> but isn't the point of poems for people to, you know, express themselves and crap? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! <laughs> 
like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Hits you hard where? In the ass. <laughs> it really whips the llama's ass. Oh, boy. Llama. Have you never seen that commercial? No. What? It was for a Winamp commercial. Okay. Do you know what Winamp is? No. It's like a Windows program. Oh, I see. It was just like, Winamp really whips the llama's ass. That's the whole commercial. This was on TV? It's like a 90s commercial thing. Uh-huh. Then I'll, show it I'll show it to you later. 90s were a different time. Anyway. This is you. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Because cheetahs yeah. can run. Right. <laughs> and monkeys yeah, can climb. I don't understand, but that's okay. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I make it fall flat on its face on purpose so I can slap it in the ass. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. You had literally one rhyme in the whole thing, and it was the same word. Shut the fuck up. Wait, no, it wasn't. It was Eagles Can Fly, People Can Try. Whatever. Just one rhyme. So so you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Shut your f face. I'm glad you learned something. You bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I didn't expect that. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but Nasuki is feeling proud. And I really want to take that away from her. You want to take it away? Yes, I'm sick of her smug little face. Whew. Have another cupcake, bitch. I guess that's everyone. That's around the room. It's empty. Like it's what about always been. me? Shut up, Fred! It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. No kidding. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Except for Natsuki's. That was crap. It's a literature club, after all. I sigh. <sighs> Guess that's what I end up getting myself into. What more kooky situations will I get into next? Tune in next week. I, we'll just keep going, actually. Uh, across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. We're my chatting. Eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems, and then just poof, out of nowhere. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What is with this language? Eh? She said, Canadianly again. Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess I could say it's fancy and a little smelly. <laughs> uh, Does anyone thanks. have any Germex? <laughs> you got Purell around here? Yours is... Pause for effect. Cute. Cute? <laughs> Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Natsuki begins turning green and growing larger by the second. Cheetah can run! Oh, can smash! <laughs> it's clearly about the feeling of giving up because I gave up on writing it. How can it be cute? I, 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 I know that. I just meant uh, the language, I guess. I wasn't trying to say something. I was trying to say something nice, you know. Yeah, I said Canadianly. You mean you had to try that hard to come up with something nice? You say, are you ready for an ass slap? Actually, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, it's actually still you. Oh, thanks, but I really didn't need... Didn't come out nice at all. That didn't come out nice at all. It came out very runny. <laughs> um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Ooh. Oh. She's poking the bear. Her Don't. hands behind her back and everything. Look how confident and brazen she is. Humph. My lovely lady humphs. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone I actually liked. Which people did, by the way. Hmm, I wonder who that was. Oh, Sayori liked it. Yeah, it wasn't me. And hey, my dude did too. Don't, don't put me into this. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all. Excuse me. 
I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and my dude liked my poem too, you know? Clearly, he has no taste. <laughs> he even told me he was impressed by it. Oh, no, sorry, Natsuki suddenly stands up. Still very, very short. Oh. I didn't realize you were invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, so I'm laughing because you're, like, <laughs> you're doing this voice and you're like it almost made you throw up. And I could tell. It's, my, I've had a sore throat for a couple days. So it's, it's a great voice, though. I'm very impressed. Eh? That's not what I... You're you're just you're you're short and stupid. Yuri stands up as well. Yuri stands up as well. Uh, maybe you're just jealous that my dude appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. She's right, you know. Oh, but how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? The music's getting a little trippy here. Yeah. You hear it? I do hear it. Okay. And are you full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Like some kind of little Powerpuff Girl wannabe who also saw Hello Kitty one time and thought, I'm gonna copy that. You, 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 you. Um... Is everyone okay? No! Sorry. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as my dude started showing up. Oh, snap! Someone's a stuffer! N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's... That's a little... This that doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you. you! I don't like fighting, guys! Go I away! I only like fighting girls, so keep at it! <laughs> Suddenly, both girls turn towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Good lord. I uh. do not want to be part of this. My dude! She, she's just she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then it wouldn't have happened in the first place. <laughs> What's the point of making your poems overly convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out in the reader and not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain this to her, my dude. Wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning, like, most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also just a waste. You understand that, right, my dude? Uh, I'm gonna leave. Well, well, dot dot dot. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. Whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, oh no. Uh, what are you gonna pick? I'm leaving this up to you. I Natsuki's kind of rude and shrill, although True. not shrill. Her voice is really quite deep and frightening. I don't want to call in Sayori though, because she's also annoying. But she, but that way you're not siding with either one. You're right. You're right. I'll, I'll, I'll be. I'll, I'll just kind of keep it level here. Mm, Nuts. Oh, excuse me, Natsuki. She glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. That that that. Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Uh, Sayori. Hey. Eh? That's oh, sorry, that's you. Hey. Yeah. Fucking lines. Uh, <laughs> everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. So, how can the two of you uh, keep fighting when you know you're making your your friend feel so awful? Sayori, start crying. <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick you in the shin until you start crying. <laughs> but dude. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. They just made you decide. I know, you just did that. <sighs> oh, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. 
She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You got into the uh, the bar in the closet a little bit? Yeah, it kind of hit, hit right on that uvula. <laughs> Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! <laughs> Line. Line. <laughs> Mitsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. No, they don't. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Well, that's true. I've talked about bathing a lot, so. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because. God, it's a huge jump. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, also, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. She's a little cute. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. I checked. <laughs> They're big and beautiful. I just get in there and... <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know. Sorry. Sorry stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Monica has no clue what's going on. I'll, I'll make some tea. She rushes off and takes the padding out of her bra. <laughs> Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. I'm a coward. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... <laughs> I guess that just means Sayori's amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she might be an airhead, but sometimes it's... Weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. And that makes two of us. You can count on me. Mon Sorry, Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. <gasps> Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. She then removes the knife. <laughs> if only I could get a chance to talk with her a little more. Oh, hey, we're back. I'm talking with her a little more. Yeah, okay, what was the fade for, but whatever. Uh, there's no point. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? Oh, my God. It was a lot of fun. Hmm. Well, I'd say it was worth it. I hate Natsuki, though. She sucks. I hate that bitchery. <laughs> <laughs> my dude, how about you? Um, uh, yeah, I'd say the same I mean it was, it was neat thing to talk about with everyone awesome in that case we'll do the same thing tomorrow and maybe you learn something from your friends too so your poems will turn out even better uh say what I think to myself I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes but I really don't want to write another one tomorrow if I don't get some hot nasty puss by tomorrow <laughs> I quit <laughs> So done with this literature club. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Nod to myself with a uh, newfound determination. My dude. Ready to walk home. <laughs> sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> 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 That was good. Sayori beams at me. Whee! It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. Can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. No, we're at my house. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. Like, semi-often. <laughs> They're really... What? That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. 
No, they kind of suck. So you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. You can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. Sorry, Fart. <laughs> you know, my dude, it's nice to spend time with you in the club. <laughs> it's, 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 it's. it's nice to spend time with you in the club! <laughs> What? <laughs> but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. <clears throat> and I think everyone really likes you too. I love that like super high pitch voice, <laughs> like masculine clearing of the throat. Hi everyone. <clears throat> oh man, <laughs> that was great. I love it. <clears throat> That's. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Getting my really dick sucked is more important. <laughs> I mean, that's, that seems like the way this thing's going. Uh, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Hopefully it holds my pecker. My little wet pecker. <laughs> I pat Sayori on the shoulder. There, there. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, why'd you touch me, you freak? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. All right, another poem now? Hell yeah. 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 All right. Nightgown? Mm. Uh, vivacious is Ooh. a good word. Uh-oh. Well. Fireflies. Fireflies. Um. Cheats. <laughs> Gotta go beat some cheeks. I knew that would be hers. I knew it. Uh, she can't stop talking about it. Milk. Depression, jeez, incongruent. Uh, anything big and dark is in me. Well, not great. always, because I bet, um, I bet like this. Or well, no, that probably tenacious though. No, nope, never mind. Um, Maybe fun would be Sayori. Should we go for Yuri then, since they kind of already got her on the on the ropes? I think we've had. I think we've got a history with Yuri now. You know. Should we go for Yuri then? Yeah, because I want to ask her if she was actually stuffing or not. All right, let's kind of lean more towards her then. Graveyard. Contamination. <laughs> um, Starscape. Huh. Yeah, I'm nailing it right now. Uh, unrestrained. Unrequited. unrequited. Oh. Oopsie. Sucks. <laughs> um, misery. Mm. Yeah, misery. Oh, well. Oh. That was, uh, well, well. Okay. Effulgent. Suicide. After, after image. What the hell is that? Big Papa. <laughs> Big Papa. Uh, variants. Yeah. Uh, heaven. Baby, you're a firework. Come on, show him what you're whore. <laughs> um, Anime. No, um, no, that's too easy. Kawaii, though. Kawaii. Oh, oh, eh, whatever. Y'all come back now. Come back, come back. <laughs>